We all love the type of leader who walks into a room and all heads turn to see what he or she does next. John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan had that kind of star power. Both were polished masters at drawing attention to themselves, but channeling that attention to their cause. That's why each was elected president. You know, but star power is not enough. You need to deliver on the promise of what you will say, what you will do. I like to call it leadership presence. And I like to define that as earned authority. You earn this authority by your example, what you do and how you do it. You earn this authority by your ability to bring people together for common purpose. There are three salient attributes of leadership presence. Control. As an executive, you maintain control of the situation. You master the management and the administration of things. You never control people, but you seek to control the situation. You cannot control events, but you can control your response. That's what we mean by control. Composure. A measure of a good leader is how he or she performs under pressure. The one who keeps her wits about her, that is, speaks calmly, coherently, and is able to provide direction for others as a leader who is composed. No one wants to follow a leader who has lost it. We all want to get behind one who keeps herself under control. Confidence. You cannot lead another person if you don't believe in yourself. Leaders must project that sense of confidence about themselves. How? They act as if they know what they're doing. Their confidence inspires others to follow their lead. This is especially true when things are not going well. When leaders act in control, remain composed, and exude confidence, they demonstrate another word that begins with C, credibility. We believe in them. 